YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a hack video, but it's not health hacks to go along with my busy bees. It is a different video today, and it is along the lines of hacks that I have discovered over the past year or so that I've thought, wow, they're awesome. I'm going to share them with you guys. So yeah, I'll show you what I found. is these. My mum bought me these a while ago. I got a pack of black and the coloured ones. These are hair bubbles. Some of you might have seen these already. They become a bit of a thing but I have long hair that breaks a lot. I talked about this in a different video. So my mum bought me these and these are amazing. They stop your hair from breaking. I used to wear the ones that were like just as elastic band and yeah in all fairness the elastic band is still like a lot stronger um, but these ones obviously they don't break your hair so they're a lot looser so the, the, the pony is not as high because it falls down basically but they're a lot better for your hair so yeah that's one of the hacks that I found out I thought wow they are fab so you need to get some of these guys if you suffer like me with your hair breaking mascara so oh look you can see Els in the background hi Els so I'm not a biggie for buying expensive makeup I'm really not about that life so my money goes on food um, so I've got this Maybelline Great Lash now don't get me wrong I really like this mascara as an everyday mascara it's a tiny little brush it's quick and easy it's fab but it gets a little bit coggy so the hack that I realized this year was all you need to do when the brush is getting a little bit thick and a little bit claggy is run it under a hot water wait for the water to get hot And once it's quite hot, rinse it under the tap. Now, I would go in and apply this because I don't wear a lot of mascara, so I would go straight in. And as you can see, all the all the parts of the brush actually are more separated now. Or as it's got hot water on it, it is less claggy, so you can still see the individual pushes. So yeah, if you've got any clogged up mascara, there's a tip for you. Q-tips. The hack I've got with these, or not just to help clean your ears out, it's that I use Q-tips if I get mascara on my eyelid or around my eye, but I I don't want to rub it with my finger and smudge it. I put a little bit of water on the end of the Q-tip and just go like this underneath my eye or on top to get rid of the mascara. Again, if I'm painting my nails and I paint them quite quickly in a bit of a rush, I put a little bit of nail polish remover on the end of the Q-tip and then I then go around the nail like so. So you're taking it off your hands and your fingers and you've just got it left on the nails. Great tip for a Q-tip. Okay, so my next tip is to do with eyeshadow. Okay, so you want your eyeshadow to last longer. It's not the most expensive brand. No, it's not the most pigmented. It's not the most long-lasting. Take your applicator, run it under the tap. Sprinkle and shake. The brush will now be slightly damp. You can then now dab it in to your eyeshadow. I wouldn't recommend putting the water actually in the palette because that can actually ruin um, your palette. So you just want to put it on the brush. You can then see. Again, another colour. The applicator is wet. Let's go with this one. I love this colour, Trist Vend. The colours then do come out really, really pigmented. The colours come out really wet, and that means that they end up staying on my eyes for a lot longer. So, yeah, there's another hack for you. 
Okay guys, my next hack. For those who don't know, I've just moved into my own little place and I don't have a lot of money to decorate. So I've been doing things on the cheap. Um, I haven't got round to this room yet, but I have started messing around with some DIY things. And I just wanted to show you a little hack really on my vinyl sheets. Basically, I don't have money to get really nice worktops and cupboards and everything, so I'm going to be shabby chicing and designing and doing up my own. So, to do the inside of the drawers, I went to Walkers and I got these sheets of vinyl. They were literally three or four pounds um, for like one roll. All I needed was one roll for the inside of these drawers, and I'll show you what I made. Like one that's not quite finished, but I then did. Press echo. <laughs> um, I basically did my inside of my drawers, and they're basically a marble, which obviously you angels know that that's my favourite. So we come over here. Ooh, this one's got little bits in it. This one has two. Oh, look, today's forecast 100 chance per echo. 100% chance per echo. Again. But yeah, basically, the inside of my drawers are pretty and marble, and I'm probably going to do the same to my worktops too, because I think it really works. So it also matches in with the theme that I'm going for of um, white, silver and a grey theme. For those who get really mixed up with their keys and you've got a lot of you in your family and you're not sure whose key is whose, yeah we've all got keychains but if you've all got the same key and you haven't got keychains at that precise moment then get your nail polish out girls because this is where it comes handy. All you need to do is get your key and get your nail polish. So. Let's take the nail polish. I'm not using anything special, it's just the Technique brush. Just make a little mark on the key. Or colour the entire top. Leave it to dry. Once it's dried, you have a little mark and you know exactly which one's your key. I personally don't like having big bulky sets of keys. I don't have a car, so I don't have a key ring. I don't have a set of car keys to put my uh, key on. So this is really handy, I'm putting it in my bag. But then when I put it on the side, they're just mixed up with all the others. So yeah, this is a little hack so that you don't mix up your keys with everybody else's. Okay, angels, my next hack is for those angels that love to wear their jewellery. They've got a bracelet, they've got a necklace, and they're all in a pile, messed up in your room. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Especially when you're in a bit of a rush to put that last necklace on. I've got a hack for you. So all you need to do is take the necklace and thread it through. Now these always get... mixed up with all my jewellery so now join it together there we go so this is the straw there is the necklace this means that you can just pull on the straw and it comes out sometimes if you have things on the end of it it can get tuffled but it means that the, the band itself cannot get mixed in and laced around each other. Obviously if you have smaller objects or you just want a smaller um, straw, again, just put it so it fits in your drawer nicely. I found that this means that I can pull it straight out plus it's not intertwined with each other and the straw keeps it separate from the rest. So. I hope this helps you. I hope my hacks have helped you. Um, they're just a few ones that I thought, wow, I quite like them ones actually. You see some and you think, yeah, that's not really a hack. But I like these ones, so I hope you do too. If you've got any more hacks, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, angels.